All right, first step we're going to remove these little nubs on the bottom because they just be result in incomplete insulation all the way around. We want that to sit flat on the concrete. Okay, next step, we're going to make the outside walls. We're going to remove this key off the top. This particular ICF has this key up here. We don't want it. Again, it's not solid insulation. We'll get rid of it. Okay, now we're going to make the uh, shorter side that goes on the inside of the form, just like the last one, only we're going to cut off a little more material. Okay, assembly time. We have one of the long outside panels, short inside panel. The difference between the two will give us our four inch slab. They'll be spread apart by these plastic connectors and that'll create a footing. You can buy these in any width you want. Since we're on solid rock, eight inches is more than enough for a footing, especially for a single, a single story uh, wood frame building. So some of these connectors we had to cut because on these ICFs, um, they don't go all the way down. As you can see, they don't cover the entire block. They're only about half of it. And we're going to put some of these up a little higher. First, you just slide them in here. All the way down. Now I'm going to put these in. When you connect to these, to these forms to support them with, with uh, bracing, you have to screw into these plastic strips. And we need a brace at the very top. So we're only going to put these that have been cut just below the surface. We cut this off so it won't be in the way and up near the surface so the concrete when it's being finished could get in the way. So we'll put three of those in. That'll give us three attachment points, which will work just fine. And then we just fill in the rest of the slots and these go all the way down. We'll put a brace board down on the bottom these are far enough down that we can get into the plastic. There's our assembled block. So we've got plastic up here so we can put a form board across here. We've got plastic down low so we can put a form board down here. We'll foam it to the foam below it with the spray foam. And we'll have a continuous insulated footing and foundation. And these plastic strips you can slide your rebar in wherever you want to place it, you know, bottom third and upper third of the footings a good practice. That's it. We're going to attach the bottom brace. We're just extending down this wall. We have to look for the connectors we put down lower. The closest one's right here. Drill a hole. Put a three and a half inch screw in here. Make sure this blocks all the way over. My little brace out of there. Go down, and this is the block we're adding on. Make sure it's square.
out. Got the next block. 